Here in Australia, we often take our freedoms and liberties for granted. We know that if we um, obey the law and we don't break the law, we won't be locked up arbitrarily. Um, however, this is not the case in all countries. Amnesty International is one organisation that attempts to remedy those situations internationally and, you may be surprised to know, in Australia too. This video will show you what volunteers for Amnesty International can do here. What exactly are you doing here? Uh, we have a particular event today, it's obviously a market stall, and our groups together to try to get, try to get people to sign a petition that we're running, that actually Amnesty is running. It's called Raise the Age. Meaning? What it means is to try to raise the age for incarceration of, of juveniles from 10 years to 14 years, okay. at least to a, to a UN standard. Um, we, we, we actually see um, juvenile detention as being a horrid place. It's violent. Kids can be violent. The staff can be violent. It's important to try to prevent kids actually ending up there. Are there many, uh, many other retired um, volunteers your age in, in uh, your, your group? In my group, uh, yeah, there's about four of us in, that, are, that are retired. But generally, I must say, with Amnesty, it tends to be a younger profile. It would be great if we would have an older group. Yeah, yeah, um, sure. is, there, is there a social aspect? Well, it's, it's a good way to make friends. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a great way to, to meet people and, and to follow interests. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're, all, we're all connected in, yeah. in the one way. You know, yeah. we're, 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 totally, we're absorbed and passionate about um, right. The, right. these, yeah, these, yeah. these yeah, particular yeah. violations of human, human rights. Excellent. <laughs> so so what, what drew you to Amnesty International as opposed to other, other I groups? I think the first thing was the first to speak up, going back a long time ago, this is not connected with Amnesty, but it was, uh, we were opposed to the Vietnam War, Okay. because it was conscription, Okay. remember yeah, yeah, it was yeah, automatic yeah. conscription, Right. and uh, I think most people did not want to be involved in an overseas war. So that opened your eyes to the idea of activism? Oh. Yes, of right. speaking up. Right, uh, speaking up. Okay, yeah, okay. okay. But what are the local issues that um, Amnesty concentrates on? Well, at the things? moment it's to do with children being thrown in prison, yeah. especially Indigenous children, yeah. and um, they're hoping in the future to be able to get it to at least the age of 14. Right, right. Yeah. And to enable the elders, especially within the indigenous community, to do other activities rather than throwing a child of 10 right. in okay. jail. Yes, good. I'm a volunteer like everyone else, but what I do is I facilitate, um, I'm a facilitator between Amnesty and uh, schools, high schools in particular, Eastern Suburbs. So what I really love to do is get kids involved. So I go to schools, I talk, but mostly I really get them going. And this yeah. is so much fun and so yeah. wonderful yeah. to see. Absolutely. It's a, it's a great learning experience, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. It's learning from me too as well. What we're doing here today, you'll be aware, is raise the age of detention That's right. of Australian children. Yeah, that's very local. So this yeah, is yeah. us, yeah, exactly. what we do to ourselves. Yeah, that's right. You know? Why did you get involved? Well, because I'm, uh, I'm a journalist, so I've always been interested in uh, human rights, of course. So uh, I have a bit more time. Yes. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> so, so anyway, so, so here I am, okay. yes. Uh, I, I certainly have no doubt it's a worthwhile thing to do. I mean, you know, so, I mean, yeah. you, you're, you're helping people who with a very strong social conscience yes. who are stuck in some you know awful political predicament in jail or their mouth is shut for in some means or other yes. and amnesty is leaning on is asking individuals to write to the leader of those countries and say behave better yes. be more courageous Correct. let these people speak right. and your country will be better and, and and I think I think it's a very interesting approach in Australia, at the moment, we are having some state and federal elections. I can bet your bottom dollar that not one politician is going to say, vote for me because I'm going to look after inmates in jail. I'm going to reform prisons and get their, get their human rights in prisons sorted. So that we don't, it's not retributive justice, but rehabilitative, rehabilitative justice, just like the Netherlands. But they're not going to say that. 
they're never going to say that. So I'm really glad that we have organizations like Amnesty International that do force us to widen our circle of empathy to the perpetrators. I think it would be a good exercise in your later years to um, address these situations with Amnesty International in your, your local area. Thank you.